Hey, what's going on guys? It's Taishi here. Today, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can craft your weapon upgrades without having all of the materials needed. Now, as you guys can see here, um, this is exactly the same glitch that I did upload before the 1.3 patch. But now that we have the 1.4 patch, I want to confirm that this glitch is still working. It's just a lot harder to get it down. Um, they, have, they have actually made it quite hard. Now, as you guys can see, for this, I need six aluminium. Um, I've put all my stuff into a chest and only taken out the parts that I need. Now, as you guys can see, for the first upgrade, or should I say the second one, but because I want the long ported barrel, I've got the upgrades for the long lighted barrel, which is adhesive, screws, and steel. And because I don't have the aluminium for the long ported barrel, technically I can't make it. Now, for this glitch, I'm basically going to show you how you can make the long ported barrel, or you could do this on any gun, uh, without having all the requirements. So, as long as you can make the upgrade that is either above or below what you're trying to create, this will work. So, basically, all you guys are going to want to do um, is you're going to want to press A or X and down on your left analog stick as fast as you can. And as you guys can see here, I've got it like second go. It will highlight the long ported barrel or whatever it is above or below, whatever you are trying to get. And it will say make long light barrel, which is the one that I wanted to create. Now, I will lose some screws and some adhesive for this, as you guys saw. But I have now got the long ported barrel without actually needing the aluminium. So if you guys can do this on guns where you've got like loads of the resources but say you haven't got any aluminium then I would really suggest doing this. Now I'm not very sure if I've got anything so I can do any of the other stuff. No I don't. I don't think I No. Okay I can't even make any more receivers for it or anything like that. But basically you can do this for any gun. It's really really good and effective as you guys can see. I did actually do it for some of my other weapons which is the reason why they're all maxed out. And they've uh, they've got really good like rates and stuff on them. But yeah, other than that, that's it for this video, guys. I uh, hope you have enjoyed. And uh, yeah, if you guys want to see some more Fallout 4 videos from me in the future, make sure to subscribe as I will be posting them as and when they are out. But other than that, my name's Taishi, guys.